Finding the truth is more important than protecting a person's rights. This is one thing I don't agree with. If finding the truth is more important than protecting a person's rights, why do we have rights in the first place? The government gives us these rights, so why have them taken away? It doesn't make sense, but sometimes I feel that finding the truth is more appropriate for some circumstances. Like, for instance, the issue of Alton Logan. Because the lawyers had to protect the prosecutor's rights, they falsely accused Logan. But another case is when you're accusing someone of taking something. Right now, the law states that if you're accusing someone, you must show evidence of why you think so. But in some cases, the only way to find the truth is to expose or go into the person's private information. Then that would be a violation of the person's sense of dignity, which is unjust. Recently, there was an article published by the New York Times as part of their student opinion study. This article stated, Edward... J. Snowden, a government contractor, leaked classified documents to the news media that revealed the existence of top-secret government surveillance programs. Now we know that the National Security Agency gathers phone logs and internet data from millions of Americans as part of its mission to keep the United States safe. But has a dom domesticated spying gone too far? Unsurprisingly, the majority of students surveyed felt that our privacy was more important than the national security. In the comment section below the article, one person said, the government isn't striking the right balance because more is put into unhelpful security and each day less and less is put into our constitutional rights. Like her, many more people agree with the fact that our privacy should come first. By many more, I mean 60% of Americans feel that way. And if our laws are supposed to protect us, then why doesn't the government have restrictions also? According to the California State of Law, cyberstalking, simply put, is online stalking. It has been defined as use of technology, particularly to the internet, to harass someone. Common characteristics include false accusations, monitoring, threats, identity theft, and data deconstruction or manipulation. This is considered a crime. Charges for this can vary very this can be from a misdemeanor and can rise up to a felony. So why isn't our government being punished? If the U.S. really does stand for liberty and justice for all, then why don't we bring justice to the domesticated spying? <laughs>